All right, guys. I'm going to show you my build for Cross 7. Um, I really like how this is put together. Um, very consistent, very aggro. The goal in the deck is to simply outpace your opponent, swing heavy, um, has great removal, really good consistency. Um, that's what I built it more towards. It's consistent. And um, I think you guys will like it. I think you guys should give it a try. And uh, here we go. We'll start off with our babies. Four Pikmons. Really the only baby you'll need. Really the only baby you should use. Um, draw one when you swing the Digicross. Too good not to run. Um, we'll start off with our rookies. Four copies of Starmon. Um, this is this is a guy we really want to Digivolve over. I mean, Digivolve with. Um, in Raising Area, get that draw. Um, swing if it dies you're gonna save it anyway so it just adds that little rookie rush pressure plus it gives your big boys um, draw one next Sparamon we pref we run Starmon of course because you have to because it's a piece Digivolves here you would rather Digivolve Sparamon like turn one because um, it's a 5k and it's less likely to die and you're just hitting 5k every turn you know if it doesn't die if it dies you save it of course Plus, it gives your guys Reboot, which is so good. Reboot really makes this deck run. So you put pressure plus put blockers on field with Rush. Swing, Reboot on your opponent's turn. So good. Next, we run, of course, the four copies of Shoutmon. Um, it's a searcher. You'd rather not Digivolve this. If you have to, you need the draw. Do it. Um, especially if you have, like, two in hand. But, yeah, play this for four. Add a Tamer, add a Digimon, reveal top three. Too good not to run. Plus, it gives your big fellas rush, which is very important as well. And then rounding off our level threes, Shotmon Star Sword. Just one copy. I see a lot of people running this at two. This gets bricky quick. You run this in case you don't draw a Shotmon or you don't draw a Starmon. Um, you're really not going to use the removal effect. Um, yes, Solarmon hurts you. You run four copies of Deliver Lamon that when you play it dies. So. This is really just an extra copy of Starmon in this, which is which is important. That's why you run one, but just one, not the two. And we'll start off our level fours with King Virgin. This is why we only run one of this, is because we run one of this. A lot of, this card gets a lot of hate. It's a really good card. It's not a great card. It's just a good card. Um, and it's also gorgeous. King Virgin is a gr just a really good looking card. But um, if you use it as a material. Digimon gains 2,000 DP, which is huge in this format. Um, helps you out Examon really well. Because they're not going to um, make an 18k swing. Um, it also, when you summon it, can add a Digicross from trash back to hand. So good. And it can also be used as any material. Right? Now, you you don't get that effect, but you get this effect. So, make try not to use it for Shoutmon. Because Shotmon uses Rush. Try to use this for, like, Derulamon, if you can. Derulamon or Starmon, because you want your other effects. Still a good card. And then, still level 4s. 4 Ballistamon. This gives your big fella piercing. It's also one of your blockers. So good, have to run it at 4. It's also one of your main pieces. Next is your Derulamon. This is how you get rid of that Solarmon. that just hurts this deck a lot. But this is how you out it. And you run four copies. So it helps you. And plus it gives uh, your security Digimon, your opponent's security Digimon minus two DP when it's used as Digicross cross material. So another really good. Still on level, still level fours. Two cross three. I see a lot of people running this at four. This gets bricky quick. Having this at two is so good. Um, I like it at two. This will not change. I think running that two is perfect. Yeah, I like that top three. It's one of the only things I could really add. Z Greymon, you draw enough. I get Z Greymon a lot, as well as Omni Shout. But it, plus, it's a really good. It's a game and too. It's a win and because like, make your board. Uh, make this for one swing with Rush, just for that little extra bump. <laughs> Can get you game wins all the time. And of course, rounding off our level fours cross four. If this was at four, this would be the best deck in the format. It's close. This deck is good. Um, very, very good. I really enjoy playing it. To, on to our cross fives. Level fives. 
anyway, run four cross five. This is your main boss monster. Um, yes, we run cross seven. In a way, this is better because it's um, zero for zero for zero memory. Press swing two checks reboot with blocker. That's so good. So you have to run four. You want to see this card. This is your really your main win condition is that guy right there. And then we run two copies of Omni Shotmon. This guy's really good. It gives uh, your big boy security attack plus one, which is really good. It has save mechanic. And if you do happen to play it, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with 4,000 DP or less. If you're using Shotmon when making this, delete two of them. So if they like to start stacking the board with Solars or anything that floodgates you or they're rookie rushing, drop this on them, pop those two. So good. I, I really enjoy using Omni Shotmon. I've had to use him to make cross five once because he can be treated as Shotmon as well. And um, so the next turn, I couldn't swing that turn, but I could block. And he didn't make anything higher than 10k. So I blocked, stayed alive, draw for turn, swing three checks with reboot. It, it's so good. So, Underworld level sixes. Zeg Greymon. This is a really good win and card. Um, I, I've done this combo a lot where you get cross five on board, swing cross five, Digivolve over cross five. Your opponent has two more Digimon. This comes in unsuspended. When it digivolves, pay for three memory over a blue or red, and gain two. So if you're at one memory, they have two more Digimon, go to two, go back to your turn, swing game. That combo, I, I love it. <laughs> Very good card. And I'm also a blue flare guy, so I love being able to run that card in this. And of course, probably one of the best cards in the deck, two Mervamon. This card really gives this deck the chance against other things that are aggro and speed based. Um, this guy, I mean, she plays for eight, which is a lot. It is a lot. But you get to summon two more from Trash. They're all blocker. Now, everything you have on field that's cross heart, which all you run is cross heart, except for Z Greymon, but is blocker and has rush. It can help. It buys you a turn, because in this deck, all you need is one turn, especially late game. One turn, game over. And um, because that's how Digimon works, in reality anyway. But Mervamon at two, we love this card. If we trashed more, we would we might could put this to three. But we don't really have a lot of Digimon in our trash. If we have a lot of Digimon in our trash, we're not doing good. Um. In this one, we really need Mervamon. But a lot of times, you see this in hand, and you only have, like, maybe one, two Digimon in trash. So, only two. And then, of course, the two cross seven. We've got to rub the alt art. Look like a Gundam. Looks great. I mean, it's, it's, it's your big boy. It pops a Digimon that's less DP than him, which you can get up to 16 to possibly 18K, which is insanely good. It comes with Rush, and then at Stack, it will have um, Piercing... Security, minus 2,000 DP, draw on when swinging, reboot, plus one security check, and blocker. It's a great card. Uh, you get this out, your opponent is is scared. You, you hurt your opponent when you play this. And that is it for the Digimon. Um, this is my way of building this deck. I really like it. Um, I don't see me changing this, the Digimon lineup. Now we're on to the Tamers. Um, I run only two options in this entire deck. And a lot of people don't run any. Um, this is my Tamer lineup. I I don't think I'm going to change this. I think this is very good as well. For Taiki, I see a lot of people cut this to three. Don't. Just don't. You need four of this card. Because it is so bad when you don't have this card on field. You need this card on field because this allows you to use all your stuff from underneath. Now, yes, with the new uh, Taiki, uh, Kiriha, and Nene, yeah, you want Taiki more because it's a searcher as well. You want both. You want more than one Taiki on board. If you have more than one Taiki on board, you're, you're good. And it's easy to do because you search so much. So four Taiki, three Akari. Now, this could change depending on your preference. Um, you could probably cut this to two, 
push uh, Zinjiro up to one because I'm running Zinjiro at two because I prefer the draw over the memory gain because you don't need a lot of memory in this deck. Most of your things, most of your big guys drop for two to one or zero. Cross five drops for zero, and so. And plus, Solarmon hurts, so I want more access to the Akari Darulamon play than I do Zinjiro Ballistamon play. Plus the draw. I prefer the draw because I prefer consistency. And then, last two tamers, two copies, Taiki Kiriha Nene. This card is very good. It acts like as your Taiki to where you can use everything underneath your tamers. And it's also a memory booster, which this deck did need. Uh... Equip piece, equip a uh, cross heart or blue fairy underneath this card. Draw one, gain a memory at the start of your turn. So good. Very good, but you still do prefer the Taiki. And then for the two option cards in this deck, um, you can change this if you want. This is how I like it because I like consistency. I run two Hero of the Skies, two drop, draw two. If I have, or security tech plus one, which can help you really go for games. And. If you have cross final field, you get both effects. And if it hits in security, it goes to your hand. So I, I think this is how I'm going to run this deck. It is very good. I've been playing with it for um, about a week now. Um, I've probably got about 50 games in with some buddies. And um, the deck just runs smooth. You brick sometimes, but that's in every deck. I don't think there's a deck out in Digimon that where you don't brick. This is the most consistent I've gotten this, and I absolutely love it. Y'all have a good day.